Uh, the politics surrounding hurricane uh, now this has been a very devastating hurricane that has hit us uh, but there's been enough and more politics that's taking place on both sides uh, to tell our viewers before i get in the guest this evening well uh, the death toll as i said has crossed 100 donald trump has also said uh, made remarks saying that you will be okay remarks that have actually sparked huge controversy and even as there's been some reports suggesting that project 2025 uh, which democrats have linked to uh, the Trump campaign uh, says and talks at length about privatizing some of those uh, weather outfits as well and weather agencies. Where does this take the campaign and the election with just four weeks to go? That's the big discussion. Ajay Paturia joins me on the broadcast uh, representing uh, the, uh, the big Democrat voice on the show. And we also have Matt Klink, who's a Republican strategist. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for taking out the time speaking to me. Uh, you know, this is unfortunate. People have lost their lives. Livelihoods have been lost. Houses have been devastated. Communities have been ravaged. And what I see here is a lot of politics playing over people's misery. Uh, let me take that as a and, 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 you know, give both of you the opportunity to respond to that. Let's start with you, Ajay. Uh, how do you react and how the Democrats have reacted so far? in terms of some of the messaging that has come in from the Trump campaign. Your initial, your first remarks on that. Uh, the messaging related to the immigration? No, I'm asking about the hurricane uh, oh, issue okay. on which Donald Trump commented saying that you'll be okay. And there was a very sharp retort that came in from the Democrats. Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, if you look at uh, uh, the response of President Biden and the Vice President Harris, they have been uh, providing all the resources which are needed to support the hurricane and they, uh, the, the administration is working on the clock to support that. But, but if you look at in, uh, when Trump was in the power, he refused to provide support to California fires and uh, he, he basically restricted the support out there. But this administration, uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris are president for all Americans and they are doing all that can be done. Different, definitely, it's a di very difficult situation for people who are living out, out there. But this is not the time to play politics on this. This is the time, time to support and get all the resources needed so that uh, some of the lives, uh, people's lives can be eased and they can get the resources they need. Um Matt, come in there, what the Democrats are saying that, you know, elections will keep happening, we'll keep campaigning, but this is, this is people's misery on which maybe political statements can be avoided. Well, well look, I mean, your last, the last response just proves that the Democrats are injecting politics into this. I will add that in all of this, Kamala Harris didn't stop her, her campaigning. Joe Biden, because he's mentally addled, was on some beach in Delaware somewhere, not doing anything. Uh, and Donald Trump is going to do what a commander in chief should do. He's going to be on the ground in Valdosta, Georgia today, offering support uh, and letting people know that as much as this tragedy did occur, that things are going to be OK. Uh, but this is just a classic example of, you know, who is actually leading our country right now? And right now, it certainly is not Joe Biden. Uh, and Kamala Harris is off campaigning, so they need someone to step into that void. And Donald Trump will be in Valdosta, Georgia today to demonstrate that he does care about the people and that, yeah, things will ultimately be OK. Hurricanes do hit uh, with an, you know regularity in that part of the world, and they want someone on the ground to support them. Ajay, respond to that, that, you know, yeah, here is a presidential campaign that is taking place and, and the, one of the candidates is well within his rights to question government's response. What he felt was inadequate and therefore he stepped in. Well, uh, uh, unfortunately, Trump is running out of real issues to talk about. So he has to come to this, uh, uh, you know, to talk about the uh, in the campaign. But let me tell you, uh, there has been uh, hurricanes over the years and years every year. And there's a very established FEMA, which is the uh, Federal Emergency Response uh, System Organization, and which uh, immediately jumps in, whether it was fires in Hawaii or whether it's a uh, you know, hurricane over here or hurricane in uh, other parts of Florida. Uh, FEMA is the agency which immediately jumps in and President Biden and the administration people and Vice President uh, Harris has been in touch with the right 
team of people who are working on it and they're getting daily status daily reports and the white house is closely monitoring it so uh, and, and it's more welcome i mean uh, if uh, uh, president trump also wants to visit it it's always good so that leaders uh, from both sides uh, meet the people and get the issues what is important the, where the help is needed and, okay. and relate to the agencies so it's it's all good i mean there's nothing wrong in uh, anybody visiting over there okay okay bad respond to the fact that the project 25 uh, issue has been raised again by the democrats and they've said that uh, it very clearly states that uh, under that there is a provision for a privatization of weather companies essentially saying that such climate uh, induced disasters would be harder to identify and predict and impair the response of the government well you know you're again uh, the 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 trump administration had not or donald trump had nothing to do with project 2025 that was created by the heritage foundation he said all along that he doesn't support it yet uh, the news media and democrats still beat that drum uh, so look irrespective of what project 2025 said donald trump uh, has demonstrated that he is going to go into uh, any part of the country Uh, where he thinks that he can reach voters and impact them now it is un- always unfortunate and i agree uh, i do agree with what uh, my, my fellow guest said uh, that it is well within the right of both presidential campaigns to go into uh, any part of the country uh, to not only talk to voters but also to lend support and that's what donald trump is going to do so i mean you can beat the project 2025 drum but we have a saying in america particularly in the south that that dog won't hunt uh it, it's not related to the trump campaign and as much as democrats would like it to be it, it it's kind of fallen flat at this point so fair enough maybe you know project 2025 uh, is an issue that's being raised by the democrats to probably deflect from the real issue but then the question that is that is coming uh, b- uh, by and you know being raised by a lot of americans is that this is a time where probably some unity could be displayed by the two candidates because it is people's misery 100 people have lost their lives do you think this is a time to probably build those bridges and then you know politics could start once again one once uh, some of this issue has been addressed We well, you know Americans can walk and chew gum at the same time and I think that you know Donald Trump uh is all for bringing people together uh he has a very strong base of support and uh again contrary to what my guest said most recently the issue set that's being discussed right now particularly the failed economy uh the misery of Bidenomics uh over the and Biden Harrisnomics over the last four years coupled with uh, an immigration system that is out of control uh is very favorable for Donald Trump and that's why he is performing so strongly in the seven swing states that are ultimately going to matter for this election. Okay, very quickly Ajay, I'll give you a chance to respond to some of what uh, Matt's commentary has been around the fact that you know you keep flagging the project 2025 issue simply because you're deflecting from the real uh, issues that matter. you know i will tell you that the project 2025 uh, proposes which is closely as uh, uh, close people associated with trump who has been proposing 2025 it says the entire federal bureaucracy including independent agencies such as department of justice be placed under direct presidential control uh, and 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 that proposes executive theory it says that to uh, remove several broad uh, fbi agencies and people depending from sns it talks about eliminating job protection for thousands of government employees who could then be replaced by political appointees and trump has okay. clearly said that he's going to put on it and so on and on removing education department and okay. and, and and so this is something which is uh, talking about okay. uh, you know being an and there's the from a one and threat to a democracy i mean okay so matt is saying this is the deflection this is the deflection what he was speaking about earlier okay so so i think in about 4 weeks time a little over 4 weeks we will know what really the answer of uh, the american electorate is which side is it leading on and which of the arguments it's actually buying thank you so much gentlemen for taking out the time and speaking to me 